Thanks, Ruth. And um, as Ruth mentioned, uh, unfortunately, we, uh, as your program show, we were going to have Dr. Sada Miri join us from Horn Heritage Charity. Uh, she was uh, injured, uh, actually, in executing this project. She's fine, but um, was not able to join us here. So um, I'm going to give the presentation on her behalf. And this is one of our more recent projects. So we're, we're pretty excited to talk about it. Uh, the project was a collaboration between uh, SIAR Horn Heritage Charity, and then ECROM, uh, and it was made possible through the generous funding of uh, uh, the Swiss government. So this is Sada, uh, and I, uh, Sada's got a, a wonderful personal story that I got to learn when I first met her um, uh, just over uh, a year ago in Edinburgh at another conference that was uh, put, put on by Historic Scotland and UNESCO about uh, using technology uh, to tell stories and, and, and education and tourism for cultural heritage. So I, I heard Sada's story, which is that uh, she's originally from uh, Somalia, from Mogadishu, uh, left as a refugee in her teens, grew up in um, uh, Scandinavia, uh, where she started studying archaeology, of all things. Um, got very interested in uh, her own history, wanted to go back, uh, went on to uh, get a PhD, and then went on to be the uh, first minister of culture of Somaliland. Uh, so Somaliland is actually a, a separate, uh, unrecognized country within uh, Somalia, the, the area of Somalia. It's on the northern part. Um, and so there are some challenges there, and they've wanted to set themselves apart from uh, the, the unrest within Somalia. They've had a number of peaceful elections since they've uh, declared their own independence. Um, and so Sada has really wanted to take the heritage of that region, which has quite a bit of rock art, and uh, bring technology in, uh, bring this new uh, uh, tools in to the, the people uh, to be able to document the sites and share this great history and help promote uh, the region of Somaliland. Uh, so at this conference, uh, we got to talking and, and cooked up a project. And then fortunately, we were able uh, to find uh, funding for the work through the Swiss government uh, with ECOM providing oversight. Uh, and the objective of the project was really to bring, um, uh, not just to document some of the sites within this region, but to, to have an emphasis on the transfer of skills and engaging the local community. Uh, Somaliland is uh, a region of nomads, but as Sada said, uh, we're nomads uh, with cell phones, and we're techies, and we're ready for this. So this project kicked off earlier this year um, with uh, doing some training with Sada um, up here in the UK. Uh, so this is one of our people, Adam uh, Frost. Uh, training SADA on the, the DPI-7 that you've seen over here with Dot .product. Uh, we've had generous support from them to enable this. We wanted to look at a number of low-cost technologies that we could bring into the Horn of Africa and leave uh, with the people working at the Horn Heritage Charity, a local NGO. So we worked with SADA, trained her on this uh, initial technology uh, at a university. Um, and we're able to, to work with not only the this, this scanning technology, but also uh, photography to produce some initial results. So here's Sada using um, a digital SLR. That was actually part of the training. Um, it, you know, how do you control the settings for photogrammetry? Um, how do you photograph it so that you can start to get measurable data out of it? And uh, in, in setting up this project, we wanted to use as many available tools as we could. Um, so free tools. So this, this workshop actually started with uh, Autodesk's free uh, 1 to 3D catch. Uh, and later in the project, we were able to actually get access to some, to some of the more advanced uh, software that's available. Uh, but here's one of the initial meshes. And this is a, a cultural artifact from Somalia. Um, it's uh, called a wadu. And uh, it's used as a part of a fertility ceremony. So it was something that Sada wanted to digitize. We practiced um, in the UK. Uh, and then we set out to do a project of three sites within Somaliland. So just to show you uh, the location, 
Um, Hargeisa is the capital of Somaliland. Uh, Mogadishu is down further on the horn. Uh, so the, the activities on the project were going to be centered in and around Hargeisa. Uh, and we looked at three sites. Uh, the site of Las Gal, uh, which is uh, a fairly well-known site. It's, it's thought to be the, they call it the Sistine Chapel of the Horn of Africa. Uh, beautiful rock art. Um, and then two other sites, Daga Kuri and Daga Nabi Gale. So we, we ended up sending one of our people, Sada was injured on the way to the project. Um, so we sent Ross Davison from our office. And one of the first things that we needed to do as part of the project, as some of you probably have experiences, is work with the local, uh, local people, become more familiar. And with any kind of new technology, there's a great amount of uh, early discussion that needs to take place and exchange so that everyone is, is comfortable and happy with the project going through. So there's Ross uh, having some tea with uh, some of the elders uh, before visiting the site. Uh, so this is outside the site, and this is the project team. So we worked with a number of members from the Horn Heritage Charity that are based in um, Hargeisa, and then also members of the Ministry of Culture. And one of the, the things that we wanted to emphasize from the get-go with this project is, is it was about bringing technology to the region, and it was about leaving something. So when we started the project, there was a lot of uh, resistance initially or caution about gaining access to the site. Um, you know, even though the data was going to be, uh, you know, owned by the site, because uh, they've had so many experiences where, where uh, groups come in, they come, they take data, or they do research, and it doesn't go back into the community. And so um, that was something that through some of these initial meetings we needed to address. So uh, this is uh, showing kind of the context of the site. So these sites are rock art sites there, uh, and we'll get closer. But this, this is sort of the general landscape as we get closer. Uh, so this is walking up to the sites. Uh, the, the paintings are inside these large rock shelters. So here's the team hiking up. And we brought a number of technologies with us, um, just giving them a, a suite of what could be done. Um, and this shows, this is the site of Las Gales. So you see the, the paintings. Um, and the Las Gales in Somali means the, the place where camels drink. So we're not sure if these are camels or if they're, they're another type of animal, but uh, the colors are really vibrant and uh, there's, there's multiple chambers within the site. So right away on getting on site, uh, we wanted to train them on our f the full process. So everything from capturing the data to being able to work with it and then putting it online and, and telling some of the stories. So here are three members of Horn Heritage uh, working with the dot product machine on site. Uh, and they were doing the work themselves, uh, which is something that, that we really like to see. Um, we also did training, uh, you know, some basic training. So a lot of them have camera phones. They're, they're familiar with how to take pictures. But uh, we did a fair amount of training on how to use the SLRs. What kind of settings do you need to use? How do you photograph these sites so that you can get measurable data uh, to be used in, in conservation and management? Uh, we brought, in addition to the, the DPI, um, we also brought the feral focus um, as another way to map the interior spaces of the, the caves. Uh, so here they are working again um, to get not only the, uh, you know, it was important for us to not just get the geometry of the caves, but also get the color. So photography was key, the scanning was key, and, and combining all of these different methods together. Um, and here, here they are again. Uh, most of these shots are from uh, Dagakuri, uh, of, of a lot of the training we did there. Uh, 
So here they are working. They, they were extremely engaged. By the second day, they were actually telling Ross what to do. He, he tried to position the, the tripod somewhere else and they said, no, 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 I think we need to change the settings to this because we've moved it back and, and you know, we've got this from here. So uh, really great to just see such enthusiasm for it. Uh, one of the other things that we wanted to do uh, in working with SADA to set up the project, um, one of the really important things is that the culture there is, is largely an oral culture. So we wanted to capture some of the, the stories about these sites uh, through video interviews. <laughs> So we were able to capture a number, uh, a number of discussions with uh, both members of Horn Heritage and uh, some of the elders on site, um, just discussing about their experience of the cave, what, um, what the, the art means to them, and some of the history around it. Um, so Saad is working with us to translate these, so they'll be available in multiple languages, but again, one of the keys is to actually have it available in Somali so that the, the local people there would have a chance to um, see this as well and see the results. Okay. So once, once we did the training in the field, um, the group would come back uh, to the, the Ambassador Hotel in Hargeisa, which uh, reputedly has better internet than uh, most places in the US. Uh, so the team was able to actually upload data to our office for review and get it back that next day. So um, Scott, who's here, uh, would check the data on what, that the team had uh, processed in the field, uh, be able to use some of the new software um, that's available to uh, process the data, and here are the guys working with it, seeing the results. Um, so it's really incredible. We had uh, great support uh, from Autodesk on this to be able to use some of the new tools like Recap uh, to do very quick registration of the data so that we could actually provide those results um, very, very quickly. Um, so again, you know, one of the things that we wanted to do was leave, leave that information with the, the uh, not only the local people that we're working with, but also the Ministry of Culture. So on the final day of the project, we were able to give them the data as well as some of these initial deliverables. And uh, they just remarked that this was the first time that a group had come through from outside and left uh, material there with them that they could see and they could use. So what you're seeing here is actually one of the photo textured scans. Um, and here's, here's the scan data behind it. Um, so we're combining the photography and the scanning to, to get uh, the full, full result. And then one of the other things that we're working on right now um, that's uh, in progress is uh, building out a website with them. So all of this is going to go live on the SciArc site. We're getting uh, feedback and input from uh, Horn Heritage uh, as well as the other project partners. Uh, we're going to have, uh, this is our 3D viewer. Um, so uh, Brian mentioned it earlier, the WebGL technology is something that we've been uh, uh, very excited about. Because one of the biggest things, or one of the biggest challenges that we found is you have this wonderful 3D data uh, while the software is, is getting there and we're getting lots more um, options for sharing it freely, uh, there's a great advantage in being able to just distribute things over the web um, because most anyone can have access to a web browser. Um, so this is something we put up in our web-based viewer. They can manipulate the data, they can cut sections through it, and they can take measurements. Uh, and then we'll also have uh, virtual tours. So uh, for those of you not, not ready to make the trip to Somaliland, uh, you'll be able to see the, these caves online uh, with information about uh, where they are and the context behind them. Um, and those st still early stage, um, just to show you some of the initial results of the data, um, this is a fly through of the site uh, showing the rock art that was captured.
And part of the reason we got involved, you know, in this region is there's there's quite a bit of unrest. Um, these sites have gotten more attention, which uh, has made them safer, but it's also raised their profile. Um, so it's something we wanted to capture right away, and we want to use that, as, as Rohit said, as an asset uh, for the community. Um, they're very, very proud of the site. They're, they're very proud about being able to share it with the world, and so we're really excited about doing that. So uh, we'll have more uh, from, from this project as it, it evolves, um, and I know uh, we're, we're working with Horn Heritage on looking at the next phase. This was done as a pilot. Uh, we want to we wanna bring more of this technology there. Uh, we're leaving the, the dot product scanner with them um, so they can continue to work and send, send back data to the archive. So we're, we're excited about the next steps and look forward to keeping you posted. Thank you.